Welcome to East Coast LQ Reviews, and this is actually my uh, first verses on the channel. And today we're going to be doing uh, Jim Beam Honey versus Evan Williams Honey. And I got two Glen Karens here, and I'm going to pour them both into these Glen Karens, and I'm going to see what the difference is between these two, uh, which one's uh, more recommended over the other. Um, Pour these. So I'm gonna have uh, Jim Beam on my right and Evan Williams on my left. Um, so I'm gonna go over the color at first. Um, the Evan Williams actually looks uh, a tiny bit darker. Um, so yeah, the Evan Williams is a little bit darker. Um, they're both kind of like a uh, light gold or uh, light caramel color. So for the uh, nose on the Jim Beam. Um, kind of like with the uh, Jim Beam Apple. Um. I kind of get heavy, uh, heavy honey up front with like a slight bourbon spice smell um, for the Evan Williams. Much more of a sweet honey with the Evan Williams. Um, not much uh, bourbon there at all. I don't really get much of a bourbon spice at all. Um, so now I'm going to go for the taste. I'm going to do Jim Beam first. Um, I don't really like the Jim Beam honey one. Um, I don't really get much bourbon or anything. I kind of just get honey. There's really not much to it. Um, like I said in the Jim Beam, uh, video, I'm not really too into these, uh, flavored bourbons. Um, I guess some people really like them. Uh, but now I'm going to try, uh, taste on the Evan Williams. The Evan Williams is so much sweeter than the Jim Beam. Um, but I actually get a little bit of bourbon spice with the Evan Williams. Um, yeah, I, in my opinion, I kind of like the Evan Williams better. Um, it's just so sweet. Um, they're both really sweet. Evan Williams is definitely a, uh, a lot sweeter than Jim Beam. Um, I think this kind of works towards uh, what you like more. Um, do you like sweeter flavored whiskeys over uh, a more... I think Jim Beam's a little bit more balanced. Um, but the honey, the honey in the Jim Beam is, is not really good in my opinion. I don't really like it that much. Um... I kind of like the Evan Williams a little bit more, but not because of the sweetness, but just because the honey flavor is a little, um, it's just kind of better than the Jim Beam. Um, there's really not much of a difference at all. They're both very similar. Um, so yeah, if you like a sweeter honey, uh, Evan Williams is probably what you're going to want to pick up. Um, if you want more of like a balanced honey, um, I'd say Jim Beam. Um... Yeah, they're both very similar. Let's see if I can see uh, taste any other differences. I'm going to try the Jim Beam again. For some reason, the Jim Beam just has such an odd taste. Um, I just don't like it. Um, they're both really sweet. But like I said, the Evan Williams is just so much sweeter. Um... If you're sitting at the liquor store right now and you're trying to decide, I'd go with Evan Williams, even though Jim Beam is the more expensive brand. Um, yeah, these I, I believe these two companies kind of compete. Um, 
But a little bit of uh, uh, some background knowledge. I believe uh, there was a time where uh, most of Evan Williams' uh, product completely burned, I guess. And um, well, there was a fire that happened. And I'm not too sure exactly what happened, but uh, Jim, I mean, Evan Williams lost a lot of their products, and Jim Beam actually helped them distill a lot of their stuff for that year. Um, so, yeah, you can see that these two companies, they do compete, but they definitely stick together when it comes to stuff like that. They definitely try to keep each other going. Um, I don't think either or tries to knock out the other um, out of the competition. Um, and yeah, for my, uh, with, uh, for my opinion, I, I believe Evan Williams is a little bit better. Um, I just don't know why, but Jim Beam just has such an odd taste. I, j I just don't really, I, I don't really like it. Um, and yeah, there you have it. If there's any other liquor beers you'd like to see on my channel, leave a comment below. Or if there's any other verses you'd like to see. Um, I was gonna do one with the apple, but I couldn't find another bourbon that had, uh, an apple flavor. Um, I'm gonna be doing the Evan Williams Fire versus uh, Jim Beam Fire and Jack and all that. Um, I heard Jack was uh, a little bit sweeter, um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's for a later video. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, cheers.